My name is Homeboy Sandman. I'd like to thank everybody for coming through today. This is my first show ever in Berlin. So when I clap my hands, I need y'all to clap your hands at the same time, all right? Come on, come on. Good, come on, come on. Right, come on, come on. Good, come on, come on. This shit can be the bomb to me. This shit got it up on me. This shit got on how it's supposed to be. Better grab a hold of your own. My passion is for making music. And, and this is what I could stay up all night doing and feel happy, wake up in the morning, I'm happy to wake up. Like, this is my passion, mm -hmm. this is my talent. So, I wasn't focused on that, though. I was focused on, oh, I gotta make the money to pay the rent. Oh, I gotta, you know, think about my career or my future, or just any other number of things, you know, what society will have you think is more important than, you know, fulfilling your dream, fulfilling, you know, your, what's really driving you inside. So, um, in 2006 is when I put all that nonsense aside and it was like, yo, MCing and following my passion is what's going to be the most important thing to me. You know? Pocket full of copper, copper helicopters, that divine concert, can divide and conquer, on a cloud copper, something to go around. How you feeling? Freezing, yo. <laughs> it's cold in Germany. It's freezing in Germany, yo. I didn't know Germany was so cold, but I guess it's winter time. But other than that, I'm chilling now. I guess I'm chilling literally. What up? We're fine. I was asking if we can get more, but it's like they can't, they only go so loud. Uh -huh. Because, like, I guess, like, um, they're upstairs. Alright, so how, how did everything go so Oh, yeah, yeah, you sound good. Touring Europe is a lot of fun. Um, you know, like Berlin, you know, I get the vibe and I get the feel of it, but I, you know, we got to leave early tomorrow morning to go to Switzerland tomorrow. Yeah. The only, yeah, I really, you know, Prague was mad fun. The only, I get a, I, like, I get an idea for these people and I get to chill with the people a little bit, like at the show, get to interact with the crowd and then afterwards get to meet with people. But it is a little bit of a tease, the fact that I don't really get to, you know, really chill in the city that much, you know what I'm saying? I got to be so in and out, you know? Right now we're going to uh, to an improv comedy show. We don't go on until midnight tonight. We already sound checked, so we got a little time. Being unique makes it easier. You know what I mean? There's nobody like me, so I'm always standing out. You know, amidst all these other people that are doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I mean, uh, I'm a musician. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a big crossover now between hip hop and like entertainment. Or, you know, I mean, it's entertaining, but I mean like you know, celebrity and like, kind of stuff that is not music first, you know, kind of stuff that is not talent first. That's not my thing, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm a, what I'm all about is talent and what I'm all about is, you know, authenticity and innovation. So, you know, people say sometimes, well, other rappers, da da da, but you know, they kind of start to compare me to people that are really nothing like me and don't do what it is I do. You know what I do? What I do is I make music. I'm a musician like, you know, like Stevie Wonder's a musician, like, you know, like Beethoven was a musician, like I'm a musician, like with music, I'm crazy gifted, you know what I mean? I'm not like, yo, I'm a rap, you know, like I'm a, I'm a MC, that's my, hip hop is my genre, but I'm a musician, like I get busy on a musical tip, you know what I'm saying? Yo, Sean Wayne made this beat. Which you were a teacher in high school for, right? Yeah. Which subjects did you teach back then? Uh, I actually taught math. I taught for two years. And I taught math both years. I used to get in and the kids would be all, you know, standing up and talking amongst themselves. And one day it really just impressed itself upon me so much. When I just walked in, I just hear the words they're saying, and I just see the posture and the movement and talking with each other. And it was just so obvious to me how much hip hop and how much rappers was influencing these kids. You know what I mean? Everything they were saying were trying to sound like something they heard a rapper saying on an album. You know what yeah. I mean? Everything they were wearing, everything they were doing, talking about. You know, like 
even we would kick Rom sometimes and it would be kicking I'm like, what, where are you getting that from? That's, that has nothing to do with you, you know what I'm saying? And they would just mimic these rappers so much, you know, like, you know, in the school I was teaching and in New York City, you know, and, and, you know, the kids, you know, the urban kids, the city kids, they want to be like rappers. They don't want to be firemen, policemen, you know, they want to be like rappers, like straight up, you know what I mean? Like, I was a teacher, you know, it's people align to themselves when they act like, the people that control, you know, what hip hop gets to the masses are not controlling how people behave, and you know, because they really are, you know what I'm saying? And that really impressed itself upon me. That was one of the times when I was like, "Dag, in order to get these kids to really pay attention to me, I might have to really become a rapper." You know what I'm saying? Like, other one, because they don't, you know, they pay attention to me as a teacher. But and now, when I go into schools now, as a rapper, to, but coming to speak to the kids, in one hour, they pay so much more attention to me. Then they paid to me for an entire year. I'm gonna rap and arrest you. Word out. When none of that works. Word out. Cats are gambling and test you. Word out. But fans are gambling and check you. How melody pure and true. Yo, this is homeboy Sam, man. Signing off from the ball handing in Berlin. I got the brother Dirk to the left of me. I got the brother Sosa to the right of me. Peace and love. Yo, thanks, man. Thanks. Good kicking him with y'all, man. Josh, you're the man. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.